You know, um, we were so focused on performing um, and just play the game we wanted to play that uh, I personally kind of forgot that this was a final uh, during the 90 minutes. Um, we were uh, very aware of uh, the team that uh, came here uh, today uh, and we just wanted to be better on the field. So Steve uh, and the coaching staff uh, put the plan together um, and we focus on executing it. Um, and that's it. Uh, now <laughs> we are thinking about recovering and preparing for uh, our next opponent that uh, it's going to be again a final. MLS Cup, but uh, I think that our approach will be uh, exactly the same than these previous two rounds. But you got the shirt on now for the first time. Yeah, I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> we are very pleased uh, with the game that uh, we've played, with the result and with the trophy, but um, this is not the one we want to have, um, or not the only one that we want to have, and um, we uh, look forward for the bigger one. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias, Miquel. Te pregunté el jueves qué Austin esperabas. Hoy vimos a un Austin que se sentó bastante atrás, no presionó alto. Tus centrales tuvieron mucha oportunidad también de salir jugando con el balón. ¿Te sorprendió esa pasividad de Austin o es más mérito del juego y el plan que tú mencionas que tuvo Austin que el cuerpo técnico? Sí, yo creo que Austin vino con todo. Sacaron a sus mejores jugadores, a su mejor once. Um, y sí que esperábamos el mejor Austin, pero también si me hubieras preguntado qué el AFC esperaba, te hubiese dicho que el mejor. Uh, entonces yo creo que eh, lo hemos demostrado, que, que hemos sido un, un gran equipo. Um, y precisamente eso, el ser un equipo es lo que nos ha llevado a, a ser mejores y a ganar la, la eliminatoria. A ti. Uh, what can you say about the Austin that came out today? Um, you know, I believe that they came out with their best, their best uh, 11. Um, we showed that we had a great team, and I think precisely that being a team is what gave us a result today. Um, got one question that's for uh, both or either of you, and then I'll have another one for Colin afterward. Talk a little bit about uh, the defensive strategy in midfield, and uh, you, you guys just forced them into a lot of mistakes. Uh, especially in the first half, but throughout the game, what what was it that worked so well, and in keeping Druisi from being an issue in the game? Uh, for me, uh, both Kellen and Fifu have been tremendous to today. Um, the uh, work that they've put in uh, managing uh, being in between uh, their sixes uh, and the outside backs, covering also our wingers. Uh, was uh, everything uh, to me and, and to the team. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, we've won the battle in the midfield, um, but pretty much in every area of the field. So um, we've talked about uh, the possibility of Austin playing with two sixes and one number 10 or one number six and two eights. Um, and we were ready for uh, to adjust uh, during the game in real time uh, to that. Uh, I think that uh, we've read it uh, correctly, and, and that's uh, the result that uh, we got uh, at the end. And for Kellen, uh, can you just talk a little bit about what Elie has brought to this team, what it's like playing with him, what it is that makes him special? Yeah, I mean, he's, <clears throat> yeah, Ilya is the cog in the midfield. I think, you know, he was, he was talking about me and Sifu today, but I think for him, He's the one that puts us in great positions and gives us the confidence to, to move forward. And um, I mean, he's been tremendous all year for us. And uh, especially in this game, I think for us in the midfield, um, that was opportunity for us to win the game. I think that's what the midfield wins the game, and especially with Austin and their catalyst being Drewsy. Uh, I think for us in our game plan was to limit their time and space and you know, force Drewsy in, in wide positions and make him play predictable. Um, and I think we just did a tremendous job just collectively all over the field. We were aggressive, we were intense. Um, we were, um, you know, we were capable of making opportunities and we ended up capitalizing on some, but I think it was a testament to the group in the week that we had. I think mentality wise, you know, we were ready for this game. I think uh, in Austin, uh, the past game we faced, they asked a lot of questions of us and, uh, and we weren't able to, uh, get tight on them and uh, create a lot of pressure and they were able to kind of pick us apart. And I think today 
we fine tune that. Like I said, I mean, this week we 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 studied them well, we trained well, and uh, we are ready for today. Hola, Guillermo. Hola, Monica. Pues estoy muy agradecido, es la palabra que me sale, eh, agradecido a, a John, a Will, a Steve, al cuerpo técnico, a mis compañeros eh, por haber confiado en mí, en que podría aportarles eh, algo diferente a, al equipo y, y creo que al final mi trabajo ha sido muy fácil uh, porque simplemente he, he tenido que seguir órdenes um, suyas precisamente, uh, de la gente que confió en mí uh, en pretemporada para para que fuera uno más de, de esta plantilla y, y nada, estoy muy contento y agradecido uh, por la oportunidad y por la confianza. Felicidades por el triunfo. Sorry. Um, Ilya, since the MLS, uh, now your first season at LAFC, how do you qualify this first season? Um, you know, overall, I'm very thankful to John, Will, Steve, the coaching staff, my teammates, for trusting me and, and uh, allowing me to contribute to the team you know I have followed what everyone has coached us and, and following to what they they've asked us to do in order for us to be here nuevamente felicidades por el triunfo gracias eh, obviamente Chicho no lo ha mencionado por su humildad pero eh, opinas tú que él merece eh, obviamente el premio MVP y segundo fin de semana consecutivo que te vemos cambiando de camiseta eh, te vendría bien una tercera de siendo campeón de MLS para el próximo fin de semana Sí, eh, creo que uh, Chicho merece ganar el MVP um, si acabamos ganando la Copa. Um, no sé cuándo lo van a dar, pero uh, seguramente si somos campeones, eh, uno de nosotros tendría que ser um, el mejor jugador del, del campeonato. Um, él ha sido fundamental para nosotros, um, tanto ofensivamente como defensivamente. Es un delantero completísimo um, y estamos muy contentos de tenerlo con nosotros, así que... Eh, ojalá lo pueda ganar, um, pero como él ha dicho, lo más importante es que el equipo uh, llegue hasta el final y, y podamos ganar la Copa uh, que tanto eh, se merecen aquí en el LFC. Bueno, y el, la, ter la tercera camiseta que ojalá eh, el sábado <risa> por la noche vengamos aquí con la, con la de campeones de MLS Cup porque es la que realmente el equipo quiere. Uh, In your opinion, do you think he deserves to win the MVP award? Um, yeah, I feel Chicho deserves to win it. Um, you know, more importantly, if we end up winning the cup, definitely one of us deserves to win it. Um, you know, he's a complete forward, and we're happy to have him on the team. And you know, hopefully, we win. Um, but again, most importantly, that we make it all the way through and we win the cup. Uh, second question is: You now exchange jerseys or shirts uh, two weekends in a row now. Uh, what would it mean to win the, the next one? Uh, yeah, that would be. Going into this game, we're confident, and um, <clears throat> I think I think everyone you know looks at it as a second half team. But for us to to be where we want to be and take it to the next level, we have to have a complete game, and so that starts from the first minute. I think we did a great job just the warm up, getting the nerves out, um, you know, being clean, and then from the first minute on, I think for us we were ready, we were aggressive, we were intense, uh, we were we were clinical. Um, you know, we got that first opportunity able to, to score a goal and created numerous opportunities. We were constantly on the front foot. And um, like I said, I think we were just, we were ready for today. And I think for us to, to lift up the cup, um, we've got to be aggressive from the first minute on because, uh, you know, in this game, there's no forgiveness. And, um, you know, you know, you don't start off strong. I mean, it's hard to, to come back in these games. Congratulations, guys, on your win today. Thank you. When you're young and you're playing in your neighborhood or kicking the ball up against the wall, you know, in the backyard, 
some of us have those dreams too, but not all of us make it as a professional footballer. You guys are in that moment that you probably dreamed of for your entire career to be on a stage and play in such a big game. What does it mean to each of you to have this moment? Yeah, I mean, since as a little kid, you always dream of being professional. I mean, for us, you know, we play a game that we love to play. It's a childhood's game. We play it for a living. And so for us, I mean, as, as competitors, um, we always like the opportunity to, to play for something. I mean, obviously, the regular season is great, but, you know, we're this close to, to playing in a game for the city, for us, for, for the fans, to lift the trophy. And that makes everything so much sweeter. I think just having a reflection on the years, we worked so hard to get to this point. And uh, for, for some of us, a dream come true. It's a, it's a huge game, but I think it's a testament to, to all our hard work and all the people in our support system that got us this far. So um, now it's exciting times. I mean, it's a childhood dream to, to obviously play professionally, but another dream is to, to lift up trophies. And on top of that, I think that um, we had fun playing soccer and uh, we keep ha having fun um, and that's why we are here uh, the day that um, we don't enjoy what we do and we, we have to change um, something so um, yeah very happy to share these moments with a group of people that uh, have the same goals and um, we can uh, deliver uh, what is expected from us uh, from the whole club that uh, expect uh, that from from the team so um, it's more than a dream now it's a goal and uh, that's as Kellen said uh, what uh, we work for every day thank you Kellen uh, or Ilya both of you actually um, Steve doesn't like to talk about himself too much he likes to give credit to the, the coaching staff to you guys obviously and with, with good merit but um, what could you guys say about a, a first year head coach that you know sets a win record He's up for a coach of the year finalist. Uh, he has you guys at a game away from winning the cup. And just kind of the mentality that he brings into you guys, being able to let you guys relax and, and complete this game plan to perfection like he kind of fought with today. I think from my standpoint, first and foremost, I think Steve deserves a lot of credit. And I was rather disappointed for him not winning coach of the year. For what he's done in his first year and the records that he's broken. And and overall, we've had a, you know, a good season. I thought he deserved more respect. And uh, I mean, I think for Steve, his standpoint is he doesn't care about individual awards. He he, he looks at the bigger picture, which is MLS Cup. Um, but I mean, I, I can't, you know, thank Steve enough for, for all he's done for, for all of us. I think he's gotten the best out of all of us. He's implemented his system and his tactics. And I think collectively as a group, you know, we bought into it and he's gotten the best out of every single player. Um, I think Steve also, I mean, he, he comes from a laid back approach, but uh, he, there's some times Ilya can, 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 uh, <laughs> can agree with me and he's really gotten into us. So he has that switch, but um, I think Steve, he's been, he's been tremendous. He's been really great. And, you know, we, we all want to win, but especially we, we love playing for him and, and we, we hope to, to make him proud and lift up that trophy on Saturday. One second. Um. <laughs> This is his team. Um, this team has his identity. Um, and everything that we do and that uh, we can achieve, it's going to be because of him in the first place. So um, nothing to add uh, to what Kellen said. Um, very happy and proud of having him uh, leading this team.